this soap is looks a little bit different than other soaps I've made. It, it isn't really making the pocket of oil in the middle, uh, but there is some oil here on the edges. So I'm hoping that that uh, that this is just a different consistency uh, because of, again, the herbal tea that I used. I'm not really sure if that's it, but that's the only, uh, the only thing I can think of at this point. Other than that, the consistency does look good. So I'm stirring it back down, stirring the air out of it, and mixing the oil in uh, with the, rex, the rest of the soap. I switched to this spatula because it the soap is getting very thick now. And I'll let it cook some more. Okay, it's 556 and I went ahead and I did a zap test. Uh, on this soap. I did a zap test using the soap that was stuck to the spatula and I did not get shocked. Uh, the zap test is where you you do like a battery test if you want to find out if a battery still has uh, some energy left in it and you touch it to your tongue it'll give you a, a little shock or a zap. Uh, that's what you do with uh, a little bit of soap that's on a spoon. I'm going to turn this off. And if you get zapped, it has not neutralized. If you don't get zapped, your soap has neutralized. Most of the lye has cooked out of it, I believe is what that means. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the tray, in the mold. And I think I'm going to use the spoon because this is very thick. And I want to do this quickly before it before it solidifies any more than it than it is right now. You want to try and get all the air out when you spoon when you spoon your soap into the mold. Now hot process soap always looks a little rustic to me. I, I don't know if you can really get a nice uh, refined looking bar of soap. <clears throat> from hot process. But that's fine with me. I don't I don't really care at this point. Right now I I'm real curious about this recipe. I I pretty much made it up and <clears throat> ran it through a, a lie calculator online. I'm I'm tapping this on the counter to get air out of it. But I started with a recipe that I found online for rosemary soap. And then I adjusted it and ran it through a, a, a lie calculator. And Good morning. The soap has set in the mold overnight and it's nice and firm so it's ready to come out of the mold. This is a mold that I made out of a a box that contained a scotch bottle and I just cut a a piece of uh, three-quarter inch plywood uh, and then made a lid out of three-quarter inch plywood <clears throat> and made a handle out of the hole that I cut out of a bird box that I made. So before I put the 
the soap away last night, I, uh, after I put the soap in the mold, I covered it with plastic wrap. And the mold was lined with this freezer paper with the waxy side up. And you can see it, it pulls nicely away from the, from the soap. It feels a little bit sticky, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it and then let it continue to dry. Now this mold uh, makes about 10 one inch uh, thick slices of soap with just a little bit left over. This end is the uh, far end here is is fairly flat, so I'm just going to count that as the end of the bar of soap. And I'm using a crinkle cutter that I bought online through Amazon. And you can see it makes a nice a nice uh, finish to the soap. And I'm going to check that and see how much it weighs. Ooh, these are a little bit taller. This is this one is 4.8 ounces, and they will they will stay on this rack to dry. So I'm going to cut these just slightly smaller. This soap is very moist, uh, and it has a very kind of a slick feel to it. 4.4. Okay, that's that's about that's a good that's a good weight because the the soap will actually shrink as it dries. So your finished soap will be lighter weight. Okay, and this is, you can see the end kind of uh, bowed out there, but I'm going to, I'm going to just uh, leave this the way it is and just uh, use, this will be my, the sample that I use to see if I want to make any adjustments to that, uh, to this recipe. So now, as I said before, hot process soap, you can use uh, pretty much right uh, the next day because you've cooked it, you've cooked the lye out of the soap. Uh, but I, I, I'll let this sit for a day or two before I actually try it out.